What's up YouTube? This is Kellen back with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are into home theater audio and video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give us a big thumbs up on the video. We have already taken the Epson LS500 out of the box. We've done a quick overview on that. We have put the 100 inch silver flex screen together. Today, we're gonna be going over all the installation steps to make your life easier on installing this thing. So make sure you follow along and uh, we're gonna get right into it after the intro. All right guys, welcome back. This is everything you're going to need to install the Epson LS500. On the left, we have the cardboard jig. We have a HDMI cable, tape measure, drill, stud finder, a pencil, a small level and a larger level, as well as the Epson projector itself, power cable, the mounting brackets for the screen, and obviously we have the screen as well. The first step is to put together the cardboard jig. First, you will fold up the bottom part of the jig and insert both of the tabs through each side. Now the cardboard jig is put together with the appropriate distance of how far the projector needs to sit from the wall. The next step, after checking to make sure the surface that the projector is setting on is level, you will place the jig the distance from the wall that the projector needs to go. This will give you a rough idea on how far the projector needs to be from the wall. Double check that the projector is nearly 17 inches from the screen wall. Center up the projector with the jig where you want the center of the screen to be. Once you have plugged in the projector to the wall, hit the power button. Before turning on the projector, make sure it is level on both axes. Use the knobs on the back two feet to make adjustments if necessary. Once you have powered on the projector, then you will need to go to Epson's support page and download the wall bracket guide for the 100 inch screen or the 120 inch screen, depending on which configuration you have. Today we're going to be doing the 100 inch screen. Next, you will need to hit the menu button on the projector, go down to settings, go over, go down to reset, press enter, and hit yes. Go into the menus again, Go down to settings, go over to zoom, and make sure this is all the way to the left at its widest settings. Go to the focus, almost to the center of the back of the projector, and adjust up and down until the text is clear. Next, we will make sure the top and bottom screw guides are level. Next, double check the measurements on the left and right sides that they equal 51 and 7 16 on the left and right. As well as the distance across. 91 and 7 16 Next, we're going to find a stud. Closest to this green line is optimal of where the bracket should go. So it looks like we'll have a stud just right of it. And we will want to mark it on this top line here. Level. 
going to draw a line here and here. Next, get your drill, find your hole, and screw in the top bracket. Grab your small level and make sure that the bracket is level. Place the bottom screw. And repeat on the other side. The next step, you will need a partner to help hang the screen. I need to go my way quite a bit. You need to pick it up. All right. Then you'll need to make final adjustments to get it square. All right, guys, that's going to wrap things up. As you can see, very easy to get this thing dialed in. Uh, very awesome that they included that installation guide straight from Epson. Just being able to project that onto the wall, you know, make sure you get everything. You know, it kind of takes the guesswork out of it. You still need to make sure things are level, but uh, it took about 45 minutes to get this thing all set up. That was with me stopping, filming, everything like that. So very easy. I'm so glad that we got this thing up. We're gonna be doing the same thing with the other ultra short throw screen. Then we're gonna be able to do the shootouts. I know you guys are ready for that. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already and give us a big thumbs up on the video. It really appreciate the support. If you guys are interested in this product or any other things related to home theater, make sure you give us a call. That's gonna do it for today. I'm Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. We'll catch you in the next one.